Hi, thank you again for joining my Patreon account. Uh, this is a great platform where we can have a little bit longer discussions where you can actually reach out to me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'm more than happy to have uh, a video consult through um, a HIPAA compliant, a privacy compliant uh, platform um, or answer your emails, uh, working with you in this different time where we it's a little harder to see our physical therapists or healthcare providers um, so this is here for you and thank you so much so shoulders um, if you saw in my YouTube channel uh, talking about some shoulder health strategy uh, the one tip that I gave um, that I'll see in clients quite a bit um, is just their sitting posture so they'll sit again with the armrests you know, resting their arms on the tables and really jamming the shoulder when, when it's resting on a table. So try to stop doing that if you're driving and there's a little armrest typically uh, on your, on the, in the driver's side, you know, resting that shoulder there. I even had one client, <laughs> he would hook the bottom of his shoulder blade onto the back of his chair and was wondering why he was having shoulder pain. So, so any of those awkward, stressful positions on the shoulder, you definitely want to try to avoid. The arms, you want them to hang free, just like a jacket hanging on a coat hanger. Just let the arms and the shoulder blades hang as free as possible. So that's that's a, a definite number one strategy. Number two, what you want to try to avoid is uh, internal rotation and abduction. So I'll see a lot of videos with these kettlebells and seeing this kind of position, no. You want to stay away from that because when you internally rotate, and that even kind of hurts, and abducts, that actually kind of crams the shoulder down and then I'm forcing it to work over and over and over again. So if you're loading cars in the, uh, like groceries, excuse me, loading groceries into the car, you know, just avoid that. So if you can bring those elbows down, working here in this position. So you can just load your groceries there, uh, keeping the arms down, you know, biceps. If you just think thumbs up, okay? So if you're doing arm exercises, let's say you're doing an exercise video and your arms, uh, if you have your free weights and you're working here, I'll see, or I'll even sometimes see people doing these thumbs down, again, really hard on the shoulder. So if you just think thumbs up, thumbs up, in all the exercises that you're doing. And I'll go into some nice shoulder exercises um, next week. We'll get do, we're gonna do upper body. So thumbs up here, no Larry King. Uh, and then the most vulnerable position of the shoulder, like the one of the most dangerous things you can do for your shoulder, it seems innocuous, but it's, it's actually pretty bad. So if you're, say you're in the front of your car and oh, there's something in the back that you wanna reach. So if you reach, and pull. I can't tell you how many patients I've had that have damaged their bicep tendon, their anterior shoulder capsule by reaching and, f and pulling. So that is something you definitely want to avoid. Take the extra five to 10 seconds to get out of your car, walk around, and then grab whatever it is that you're getting. So just uh, also like the bag drag, I call it, uh, in the airport remember when we could fly <laughs> so no uh just you know the rolling bag instead of pulling just walk your bag by your side get those ones that kind of turn on a dime and then just have your bag right next to you uh next to your side so again just let the arms hang free you want to avoid any pressure on the elbows let them hang free they should hang like a, a jacket on, on a hook just just let those arms hang free avoiding this kind of position you want to stay out of there definitely stay out of this zone where you're doing any kind of pulling so those are just some basic strategies uh, next week I'm gonna go into some nice exercises we're gonna do a good shoulder workout so have a great day that's just your little five-minute patreon tip again thanks for being a member really appreciate your support at this time have a great day